What's with all these Jesus adverts? Founder of Hobby Lobby has too much money on his hands, not even kidding, this post is right below a 1. I report it, it comes back. I block it, it comes back. It's like that drunkard on The Simpsons, it's so annoying. At least on FB I can tell the bots I don't want to see this ad. Reddit, y'all need to give us the same option. I'm perfectly happy with my God-free religion less existence. The slogan is lame as hell too. He gets us? Great. If you understand us well how about doing something to actually help? A friend works in ad sales at Reddit and said that Jesus people committed to $5 mil for the remainder of the year, so they're not going anywhere, crying face. The frosted mini wheats won't bother me for some reason. Like congrats on tasting better than a bale of hay? If people are comparing your cereal to a bale of hay then it's just not good. Way to set your goals high. Ag, that little mini wheat seemed a little too smug. I just love that the ads are going the hip youth pastor route on me now you know, there was another cool OG that had a bunch of homies. No cap, his name was Jesus. These bastards have grifted so much money from their johns they have enough money for huge ad campaigns even after taking their underage boyfriends on vacation in their private jet. They're unblockable, relentless and obnoxious. I already dislike Christianity, those ads just make me like it less. Reddit is fun is a third party app that filters out most ads. I haven't seen any about Jesus. Enjoy it while it lasts the next two weeks. Oh YouTube as well. Some guy introducing himself and saying let's say a quick prayer no bro, fuck you, I ain't opening YouTube to watch that shit, advert or not, seriously. If we should be boycotting Reddit over anything it's the inability to turn off offensive Jesus ads. They won't go away I tried blocking the user then they overrode that. Then I reported every ad, and they have overrode that as well. It's so gross and fucked up. It's actually making me feel sick every time I see it. I report the ad and they come back more frequently, pouting face. We could start a fund to buy our own ads. There's more to life than simply fearing what comes after it might be a good one in there somewhere. The church is desperate to start getting new especially young members since it's starting to die out. Before when I report the ads and block the account, the ad would disappear. Suddenly for the last two days, neither action does anything it seems. The ad stays right where it was, visible. What the fuck? It's a new, totally hip Jesus who needs more roops. Or that posit Hobby Lobby hoping to control vaginas. I am still in shock PPL believe he is the son of a god when he is nothing more than the bastard son of a raped mother. The longest running scam in history, religion. If you've accepted him as your personal lord and savior they go away. So really this is your own fault. Christian here not a fan of them either. They're pushy and a complete waste of money. Believe me, this sort of ad buy money should be used for much more important causes that actually fall in line with, you know, helping people should not be used for internet proselytizing. I think it's still Hobby Lobby telling you they are still closed on Sundays which is unfortunate cause sometimes I'm crafty on Sundays. Okay I despise seeing comments Christianity is a group of cult trying to get forcing you to join those good Christians and the fake ones. Like anything else in the world. If you all don't want to join Christianity real Christians and actual believers of God won't force or shove it up your throat bad and fake ones will. You all really are feeding the annoying reddit atheist stereotype. Y'all are worse than the Churchians advertising. Just scroll past it. If it was an ad for anything else you all wouldn't care. I guess religious freedom doesn't mean shit to you guys. I'm not Christian but, discriminating against someone based on race, gender, sexual identity and religion are all protected and y'all should be ashamed. Trying to get people to see the light. X200B. Maybe it helps. Considering all the bullshit around these days, Jesus loves me. Of this I'm sure. I'm a groupie. Honest sir. The burning question. I've got to ask. Does he have. Some decent smack. Get high with Jesus. Get high with Jesus. Get high with Jesus. There's also endless booze. They've been on here for a few months but yeah, it seems like they've really gotten more frequent the last couple of days. It seems the more I reported a spam the more it appeared. I'd maybe now that I blocked it it may not spam my feed anymore. If, but now they changed it to where you can't even report it so it hides it it just says thanks for reporting and nothing happens. I've blocked them so many times and nothing happens I fucking hate it. Funny thing about those ads is whatever the message is supposed to be, most Christians are exactly opposite and don't follow it. Anyway, it is just your daily reminder that the church is still out and about manipulating fear-mongering and otherwise fucking up people's lives for profits. Reddit trying to appease the religious crowd before the IPO. 
I already have 100 bots following me now. Eat a big ad campaign by some people who don't get that all the shit Jesus is supposed to have said was actually aimed at them. Even I've been getting that shit and I don't live in the US. I block and report it every time it shows its ugly face. Last, dying gasp of the hold Christianity has on US society. Soon Christians will be the minority. Can't wait. The hay used to disappear when I reported them. Now it stays there. Reddit doesn't allow me to downvote or comment on them either. How hard is it to allow people to opt out of religiously affiliated ads? I've been emailing Reddit about it and their big fix is to pay for ad-free Reddit. Oh, I see.